and I've had the honor of working closely with her, and I can tell you without hesitation, ESPs have never had a greater champion than Paula Monroe. So, I'm proud to call Paula Monroe the 2014 NEA ESP of the Year. or what? <laughs> now this little thing says, National Education Association of the United States, NEA ESP of the Year Award, Paula Monroe, 2014. I mean, Paula, this is one special day. And I also have something in addition to this. Okay. So we'll just set this right here. Don't let it? Okay. And I actually have a check here. Yeah. Made out to Paula Monroe yeah. and Dennis Van Roekel. No, no, it's just, <laughs> just to Paula Monroe for $10,000 as NEA ESP. Congratulations. I'll hold on to this. <laughs> um, so, first of all, I think I need to say um, thank you to the subcommittee, to um, NEA and to NEA member benefits. But the people I really want to um, acknowledge tonight are the colleagues that crossed the stage with me. And I would ask that you please stand again and be recognized as your state PSPs of the year. So many of you that were on the stage tonight as we walked across are really, really good friends of mine. And I would have been thrilled, honestly, um, had any of you been selected. I know what it, I know who you are, I know what it took for you to be recognized by your state, and I know how much you give every day. And so I was honored to be among you. And um, you just need to know that I am um, overwhelmed. Um, I kept telling people I have no expectations. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I have no expectations. But um, it has been a very amazing journey. And I've had amazing opportunities to share with so many of you and be um, maybe a part of your story in some way or another, because you are all a part of mine. And to be a member of the California Teachers Association now, seven years later, um, my ESP colleagues that stood by me, my local Redlands Education Support Professionals Association, my president and my, op my friend Barb, they're all here. Um, and I want to thank you all for your support all those years. I want to thank those members that were part of the Cal ESP. Um, Janet, Judy, Michael, the people that really worked to make the inclusion vote happen from the ESP side. That was a big thing to me, um, to have that opportunity to be a part of that cause. And now we have amazing ESP leaders in California. We have several. A um, couple from my local, Ventura's here, amazing local, that have gone through the Leaders for Tomorrow program are going to carry the torch. And I want to give a shout out to my NEA Board of Directors family that, from California that have always been there to support me, the CTA Board of Directors family that have always been there to support me. And, and they did it even if they didn't know they were doing it because I made them talk to me, <clears throat> one on ones. <coughs> One-on-one is right. Um, it's 
I, I mean, I really don't even, I, I, I can't, I don't even know what to say. It, it, it is probably the greatest honor of my life, other than being elected to the executive committee, where I could actually sit and have a meaningful debate with some of my very special colleagues up here. Um, it, it is truly an honor, and I, I, I can't thank you all enough, and I'll do my best to represent your interests and be your ambassador, as Donna was so, so viciously last year. I'll do my best to do that for you for this year. And I look forward to the opportunity to be able to talk to you and share with you and listen to you and um, help you on your journey as much as I can. So thank you very much.